I'm gonna be showing you how to use the Chi Lava Spin Curling Tool, demo it on my hair and give you the real tea on whether or not this is the curling tool of your dreams or if this is a total waste of money. What's going on? My name is Gabby and welcome to another video. If you are new to the channel and you want to learn all of the tools and techniques that you need to know to be the best glam self that you can be, then start right now, hit that subscribe button, ding that bell notification button, enjoy the conversation. So I purchased this because on my Instagram at Glam Girl Gabby, you guys are all asking me about these types of curling tools. There's lots of different brands that make them. I picked up the Chi Lava. So this is a Chi Lava one inch volcanic lava ceramic pro spin and curl. We might as well be a wish ad here. Like this is why, why so many words. The two biggest features about this that I need to tell you about is one, the tangle protection alert. So if you put too much hair into the barrel and it sucks it in and it's gonna get tangled and crazy, don't panic, there is an alert. It will release your hair. Bonus! And the second thing is that there is a heat temperature setting, which is great for different types of hair textures and uh, the overall end result. Having that dial is really beneficial and I'm so glad that this came with it because it's kind of a deal breaker if it didn't for me. Okay, so let's open this up. You wanna know about it, let's know about it. Let's find out what it does. This is what it looks like and it has a little tag here that says this side towards the head. So when you are inserting your hair, you're going to keep the side that says this side towards the head towards the head. So when you're curling your hair, you're gonna wanna use some subsections. I think this is a problem that a lot of you guys make when you are curling your hair. You don't take small enough subsections and it doesn't really work out super well. So as you can see, I don't even use a comb. I just split my hair in a horizontal subsection. I grab the rest of it and I spin and I clip it up and then I move around that way. So every inch or so across the head in a horizontal subsection, I move up, I do that layer, I you know release more down and I move up that way. All right, so what it says to do is to grab a one inch section of hair. So there is my one inch section. And then there are two arrows, one arrow that spins this way, one arrow that spins this way. I want the hair to spin away from the face because I find that's a really nice modern look. So I'm going to spin the hair Oh, I feel like backwards, this way, away from the face. So I'm putting this by the head, oh, and then I'm just holding it. Oh God, I'm still holding. 15 seconds, why isn't it beeping? You gonna beep? There we go. Oh, and then you have a curl. Just kidding. Gotcha. A few things that I'm noticing as I am curling, let's chit chat here, is that these curls are very ringlety. Like they don't look at all like a curling wand curl. Curling wand curls have more of like a body wave dimension to them. This looks like an old school like sausage curl that we used to do back in the 90s. Do you know what I'm saying? Remember like at prom when your hair was up and you had those like two pieces up the front and they were like sausage curled? That's totally what's happening right now. So as a little bit of a heads up, this curl pattern is definitely a traditional iron style curl. Like if you were to take the iron at the bottom and wrap it all the way up. Not really my favorite curl type, but I'm gonna show you at the end how to fluff this up and give it more of a modern look. But you definitely don't want to leave your house without like fluffing these. Um, this curl itself is not modern at all. Okay, so I wanna show you guys what happens if you take a section that's too big, because it is really scary to put your hair into a sucky machine and like pray for the best. So let's just take this huge ass blob of hair, stick it in here and hope that it tangles and let's see what happens. Oh God, I'm so scared. Oh, oh, see? Doot, 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 doot. It's like, no. It told me that I can't do that. I get it. Okay, you can stop. How do I? Oh, I understood, I was bad. Scolded me on that, eh? 
It was like, how dare you call yourself a hairdresser? Okay, so that's reassuring. You get a piece that is way too big and it's gonna tangle and the hair will actually be rejected. I'm gonna tell you something that I don't like about it. So when you're using a curling iron or a curling wand, you have a lot of control over the smoothness because you can get it right to the root. This, you can't. So you're feeding your hair into the unit. See, so a curling wand, I would be putting the curling wand right here and I would be smoothing out the root area. But because you can't actually put the root into this machine, you're just kind of inserting it and then spinning it. All of this, you see this section here, it's not getting like the heat control and the smoothness that you'll get with a different tool like a curling wand curling iron or a flat iron so if you have really frizzy hair this is not the tool that's going to smooth it you almost need to start with a nice smooth base and that's why i did a blow it on my hair using the wish blow dryer brush that i did a review on um, so that i could get a nicer look with this i needed to control the frizz first all right, so this is the end result before I did anything at all. As you can see, I pretty much have like ringlet, ringlet, ringlets. Um, not modern at all. Don't really like this look, but that's okay because now we can work our magic on it. So now I'm gonna go in with my favorite product, my favorite finishing product for natural sexy curls, and that's the Matrix Texture Builder Messy Finishing Spray. This spray gives you like a grit and like a a fluff to the hair that's nothing like a hairspray a hairspray has more of like a frozen style hold this has like amplified volume grittiness like your hair has been worn for a few days and it has like a little bit more texture that's very helpful for hair like mine which is quite like smooth and soft I need it to be like mm, like pumped up and that's what this matrix texture builder does so I love this product and you will too what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start by just putting my hands in and breaking the curls up because I need it to be a lot more relaxed than what this has done. See this, like this ringlet situation here? I don't like that. I want it to be a lot more PC and have a lot more movement. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip my head upside down and spray it with this texture builder. There's my end result. There are two things about this tool that you need to know before you leave. One, will it save you time? No. It took me 30 minutes to curl my hair with this tool. That is significantly longer than it would have taken me with a curling wand. Number two, you need to have smooth hair to work with this. If you have kinky hair or hair with more texture and you need more control in the root area, you're not gonna get it with this tool. This tool will suck it, but it will leave a huge chunk of the root out. So if you need smoothness there, then you are much better off with a curling iron, a curling wand, or a flat iron. Thank you so much for joining me. If you want to know how how I prepped my hair so that it was smooth and beautiful then head on over to that video right now and learn about a tool that literally is life-changing for me and so many of my viewers the best thing I ever purchased online and I wish I got a commission for selling it because I sold so many and I don't so if you want to know about that video then go on over there and if you haven't done so already then subscribe down below I'd love to see you every single week thanks guys bye